Hello, I'm Alfred Lambermont Weber and I want to send you warm greetings from Vancouver, British Columbia to all of the participants, speakers, audience at the Consciousness Beyond Chemtrails conference in Los Angeles, a watershed in our awareness and taking proactive steps uh, to deconstruct this weapon of mass destruction. My presentation is entitled Harp Chemtrails Weapon of Mass Destruction Exposing a Spiritual Mass Mind Control and Planetary Assault. Thank you for allowing me to make this presentation uh, via video and via PowerPoint, and I hope that uh, it does communicate something meaningful uh, with some proactive steps that we can all take. Uh, there are a total of 63 slides, and I'm told I have about 75 minutes, so it'll be a little over a minute per slide, and I just ask your indulgence uh, if some of the information is not clear. If it's not clear, please email me at exopolitics at exopolitics.com. <clears throat> That's exopolitics at exopolitics.com. I'll be calling out the slide number uh, that I'll be going to so that uh, we can all be on the same page as it were. Okay, slide number two. We'll be covering three questions here. What is the HARP? aerosol chemtrail plasma weapon system? What are the HARP chemtrails applications, especially mind control? How can we the people stop the HARP chemtrails weapon system assault? And I want to uh, express my special gratitude uh, to the researchers and scientists who have contributed to our collective knowledge of this, and most especially uh, to independent scientists Lorraine Murray, Dr. Ilya Perlingieri, and of course Clifford Carnicom. To slide number three aerosol sp spraying chemtrails. The covert global spraying of aerosols into the atmosphere also known as chemtrails, has transformed the Earth's atmosphere into a plasma for carrying out weaponized applications such as biowarfare, including Morgellons disease, electromagnetic operations such as HARP, weather warfare, tectonic, meaning earthquake warfare, mind control, advanced surveillance technology, and detection of advanced propulsion technology, including UFOs, and advanced extraterrestrial uh, civilizations, some of whom are ethical and attempting to dislodge what I call the International War Crimes Racketeering Organization that is deploying harp chemtrails against the global ecology and against the human population. Uh, total control, this is slide number four. Total control. The overall purpose of this covert operation of spraying aerosols into the atmosphere and converting, uh, the, and converting the aerosols into plasma is to achieve, quote, absolute control over the global human population. This total control is accomplished using the combined effects of seven weapons-like applications that use the plasma-like atmosphere with weaponized effects on the environment, the biosphere, and the human population. According to expert and fellow speaker Clifford E. Carnicom, the vitality and viability of human existence and life on this planet, as it has been known to exist, is under threat. Slide number five. Seven applications. These seven weapons applications of the sprayed aerosols 
of chemtrails include mass mind control constituting, in my opinion, as a judge on the Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Tribunal, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide under the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court and under the Geneva Conventions. I'm grateful to Clifford Carnicum for identifying these seven applications. Number one, biological operations, including the use of apparent biowarfare, such as Morgellons disease, in the sprayed aerosols. Number two, military operations, such as advanced radar applications, anti-missile Star Wars applications, um, and as we shall see, others. Slide number six. Electromagnetic operations, harp directed energy scalar weapons and mi mass mind control weapons applications. Now, uh, the scalar weapons applications uh, are enormous. Uh, I've been told from sources that the space-based or the space-directed energy scalar weapons op operations, and this is a quote, including HARP's ability to uh, uh, blow an asteroid the size of Texas into smithereens. So that shows the power, when used as a scalar weapon, uh, of the weaponized ionosphere. And we'll get more into detail in the presentation on mind mass control weapons applications. Number four of the seven applications is environmental modification and weather wars. This constitute a violation of the 1977 treaty against modification of the environment. Slide number seven. Number five of the seven applications uh, is geophysical operations, including tectonic or earthquake warfare. Number six is an advance of the seven applications, is an advanced surveillance system capable of covert surveillance of the entire human population. Number seven is detection of exotic propulsion systems, including detection of off-planet advanced interdimensional extraterrestrial civilizations and interdimensional UFOs. And uh, HARP is the one of the weapons of choice of interplanetary warfare by the International War Crimes Racketeering Organization that currently believes it controls this planet. There is uh, an eighth possible application, and I'm sure that there are many more, and that is uh, chemtrails may be being used uh, uh, to hide from public view uh, the approach, the possible approach, and this is a very controversial issue, the possible, possible approach of a brown dwarf twin star uh, that is a twin to our sun. Our sun may have a dual uh, sun. And uh, there is evidence that the U.S. and international security state has been tracking this twin star since at least 1983 through NASA's infrared astronomical satellite IRAS and since 2007 through the South Pole Telescope and the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica. Uh, it's not clear that the object in question is our dual sun or is a brown dwarf because this information is highly classified. But the chemtrails program has the function of clouding the atmosphere so that 
uh, amateur scientists cannot see this object and more and more there are photographs of the alleged object uh, from commercial airplanes flying above the chemtrails layer in the southern hemisphere off Australia especially and New Zealand. Uh, slide number nine <clears throat> and We'll come to this l later, but uh, uh, this ties in with a possible uh, global false flag operation, PSYOPs, much in the same way that the uh, false flag operation of September 11, 2001. I'm a judge on the Vancouver 9-11 Tribunal. Um, and there may be a false flag operation occurring uh, with regard to this um, and uh, in order to try and uh, really trigger what we call catastrophobia and a great amount of fear. Uh, there are reports that over 174 underground military bases have been built at a cost of more than two to three trillion dollars in the black budget. Uh, and uh, we have uh, three separate studies or probes, uh, a 1971 by DARPA using time travel and a 2010 one using the largest number of re remote viewers military trained remote viewers in history uh, that picked up what appears to be a global coastal event in 2013 that destroys global cities like Washington DC or New York or Sydney, Australia. By the same token, although 39% of the remote viewers pick up this global coastal event, 29% of the remote viewers pick up a non-catastrophic future. So, from a time science point of view, it appears as though there are two parallel timelines. And it, it looks like there might be a psyops that is out there that uh, the global matrix or powers that be may want to manipulate in 2013 for purposes of rollout of the New World Order and harp. The Harp chemtrail system appears to play a part because according to leading edge scientists, for example, independent scientist Lorraine Murray, uh, uh, you can go to our interviews at ecologynews.com. The massive drought, which has affected 70% of the U.S., uh, quote, the, the worst in recorded history, end of quote, is actually not naturally caused, but an artifact of the Harp chemtrail system. Slide number 10. Now, let's get more into what Harp is, which is an integrated component, weapon system component with chemtrails. We have to think them of them as an integrated weapon system. HARP is an exotic weapon system that is part of the weaponization of space using scalar wave interferometry, a technology first discovered by scientist Nikola Tesla in the early 1900s. Two or more longitudinal ultra-low frequency waves are aimed at an intersecting point, at which time they interact in a very unique way, tapping into the limit.